Hey everybody, Greg and Jess with Georgia Journey here with another exciting uh, full-time van life video for you guys. Snow started falling in the high country in Colorado, so we decided we'll do a little tour of the southwest instead. So this might become a two, three, or four-parter, but we left Colorado, headed south towards Santa Fe today. Yep. We made it about an hour and a half from uh, where we started because I'm tired <laughs> and uh, we're right down the street from the ghost ranch yep which Georgia keep made popular yep so we're gonna camp here but in this video we're gonna go see some hot springs that we haven't been to yet yeah exciting. and then in the next one we got a van meetup and then we're thinking about maybe going towards Moab arches Canyonlands, things of that nature so Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Oh, and we're getting birria <laughs> in Albuquerque. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, shop through our Amazon links below. Yes. Tarantula at camp. We uh, believe this is mating season. Pretty small, actually. Probably a male. <laughs> okay, we're all set up in camp. That was pretty cool about the tarantula. I did read that this time of year is mating season and usually when you see tarantulas out about this time of year it's the males looking for females who are waiting in their nest to mate. Um, so that's why it's probably pretty small. The females are probably twice its size. Things are really uh, getting exciting Getting exciting <laughs> at camp here. Breaking out the uh, top box. Top box. Box of wine. Washington grown. It's not bad. Do you mm. get notes of dark fruits, plum, chocolate, and vanilla? No, I was really baffled on the chocolate and vanilla. Because I always thought it was one or the other. Unless it's swirl. They should have wrote swirl on the box. All right, it's a chilly morning here in the desert. Ended up raining on us last night, which was not planned, but we thought there might be a chance. So last time we were out there, out here I should say, we were camping right up along this cliff band. It's super pretty, uh, but the road over there is pretty beat up. And it rained on us last time we were here too, and we know that this dirt gets really slick. Um, and we didn't want to risk it because it was what when we came in yesterday, we didn't think we'd make it up there. Let's see if we get out of this one without sliding around. I went out and walked around. There's only a couple spots where it was slick. Let's see if the sun dries it out enough for us to get out of here easily. If not, downhill back to the road. We could be in for a little fun slip slide adventure. We're all packed up and ready to head out, and uh, it looks like the road's gonna be pretty slick. Someone else came in and, and uh, 
their tires are completely caked in this stuff and I know how slick it is so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be sliding out of here Well, let's see if that showed up on camera at all for you. Um, this stuff gets slick. We just made it to the parking lot for our first destination. And roadside equals busy these days, so. We don't know much about this. It's not gonna be super hot. We read it's not hot. Ooh, look at this. What? Waters of hot springs contain naturally occurring organisms which are hazardous to your health. Avoid getting water in your nose. That means it probably has the Niagara Call Larry. Yeah. Brain eating amoeba. Also, this first one's probably not going to be super hot. Second one looks like it's a really cool feature. We don't know how good the temp is there. And the third one, if we can make it to it with the dirty road, should be the best. If you want to know really good info on these, think about joining our Patreon down below because we will take pictures and give you all the details. Right, we are hiking down from the hot springs. Um, we were correct, it's not that warm, but there is a really cool cave area where the source comes out. Our first cave hot springs. What did you think of it? I think it's pretty cool, but if it were seven degrees warmer. Supposedly the folks up there said that uh, 105 is what it's supposed to be, so. We did get a lot of rain last night, so if that affected it, if it was 105, I think I would have probably scored awesome. it like maybe top 10. It's, it's really, really pretty. pretty. Yeah. I smell it. I found clothes, but I can't find the spring over here yet. So it's either washed out by the stream right now or around this corner. Well, I don't think this one's soakable, but it's really cool. They carve some steps in to the, uh, the source up there. And this little mini cave that I don't want to bang my head in. But, any of the water I've touched so far has been cold. I can feel some heat, but not much. Okay, we're on to our third and final destination on this 
northern New Mexico hot springs hunting adventure. And uh, we hear the road to this one is a little rough. Garbage. So we might not make it. Thankfully, we have the motorcycle. Worst comes worse, we'll just. Pop I'm not out. too worried about it. Although yeah. the storms are coming. Uh, but this one is supposed to be the hottest one, so we saved it for last because we're gonna try and spend the night up there and maybe get two soaks in. Yeah. Well, not exactly what we were hoping for on this uh, third one here. It's crowded. Did we find perfect hot spring weather, babe? <laughs> it's hot, yeah. It, uh, Looks like it sleeted quite a bit up here. It was 45 degrees at the car when we left. And it's spitting damp, cool Pretty moisture cold. out of the sky. Update. Walking back to the car, spent several hours in there and had great conversation with one of the local gentlemen. It was nice to meet him. It's a really nice spring. I had pretty low expectations. KJ. And uh, it's a really cool place. Yeah, it's pretty awesome out here. So. We were not expecting it, but I mean, it feels like it's the Pacific Northwest kind of. There's a bunch of moss on the trees, and the fact that it's raining is probably it's raining, <laughs> uh, misty. It's just a pretty cool place. So we're going to uh, not sleep in the parking lot because it's a day use only area. But uh, we're meeting up with a friend tomorrow, and then we're gonna go get some beer. Did I say it right that time? I feel like I nailed it. We decided we were tired. So we are skipping dinner and just doing guac with these massive avocados that we got for $1.50 a piece. But we did watch a show called Rotten that you guys should check out about Well, we watched about avocados, but all in all we watched it about a lot of things and it's pretty much going to make you not want to buy anything ever again. These ones are from Peru though and Peru wasn't in the show, so Yeah, we have no idea how ethical we, or non-ethical We don't are. know if Peru avocados are unethical but it talked about the Mexican avocado cartels and then a lot about Chile, right? Mm -hmm. And how uh, it's pretty messed up down there. So, you know, we're, we're sticking to the Peru avocados for now. She just informed me that I was supposed to be wrapping up this video and instead I just rambled for you guys. So. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the hot springs. And if you want to know more about them, sign up for our Patreon down below. And in this next tour day, L Southwest, <laughs> we're going to go get that birria that I talked about. Meet up with some friends, go to a van meetup, and then we'll continue on. <laughs>